Mr. and Mrs. Universe and all the ships at sea, prepare yourselves for an attack from Mars. Latest bulletins indicate that a full-scale invasion of the Earth is about to take place. Run for cover and take all emergency precautions. The Martians are rapidly approaching the Earth in spaceships. The men from Mars have never been seen before and may be very dangerous. Prepare to defend yourselves against attack! Please, I interrupt this program to bring you the biggest news of the century. A big invasion of spaceships is approaching the Earth. Our cameras are on them now. Look, there are hundreds, no, there are thousands of them. It is believed they have come from Mars. I interrupt this program to bring you the... Oh. I interrupt this program to bring you the... The Martians are passing over the city. They're headed for the forests. They're landing. Wait, what's this? They are not men. They look like... Oh, no. Oh, yes. They're termites. Termites? interrupt this program to bring you the... Little wonder termite tools. 
can opener, bottle opener, mouse trap, burglar alarm, garbage disposal, and record player. and me to the dance. Now hurry up. We gotta get going. Oh, what a life. All day long, I work like a horse. And now I have to drag this dope to a dance. Snap me with that whip once more. I'll kick your teeth out! And I'm just a guy that can do it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Maisie, step on it. Now, folks, we're going to have a good old spire dance. So grab your partners and let's go. Some cheese pops, eight hands up and rattle your heart. Fate and travel down south and let a little moonshine in your mouth. Beat your partner, pat her on the head. If you don't like this, get feed of cornbread. <laughs> Bird died with a hoop and call. Nigh right, nigh wrong, grab your honey and promenade along. <laughs> My 
fried bacon once fifty cents a pound have been eating jack rabbits and hopping around. Now it's time for another exciting episode of Woody's special feature, The History of Aviation. Take it away, Woody. And now, my fine people, presto! From this launching site at Cape Canaveral, hundreds of rocket missiles have been fired. So far, the only live passengers had been mice and monkeys. On May 5, 1961, the United States was ready to send a man into space. His spacecraft was a Mercury capsule on top of a giant redstone rocket. The man picked to be the first American astronaut is Commander Alan B. Shepard, United States Navy. Wearing his specially designed space suit, the elevator takes him 60 feet up from the ground to the cone-shaped Mercury spacecraft, bearing the name Freedom 7. The redstone rocket is taller than a five-story building. I could use one of those on the 4th of July. As Commander Shepard looks over the capsule, he seems to be the calmest man of the group. After months of intensive training, in which all aspects of a flight into space have been simulated, the big moment of the actual flight finally arrives. What with the baby booties? Those are plastic overshoes to prevent flight boots from tracking dirt and dust into the capsule. Your wife should make you wear them around the house. With the astronaut aboard, everything is rechecked for his safety. Cameramen are poised to record this historic event in pictures. At the countdown of zero, the redstone blasts off. Its fiery tail slowly lifts the 33-ton rocket into the air, and the astronaut is on his way as the world waits and prays for his fantastic flight to be a success. If anything should go wrong, the capsule could be released either by the pilot or the ground crew. Well, how about that? Flat on his back and strapped into his contour couch, astronaut Shepard easily takes the shock of the blast off. The automatic camera inside the capsule records the astronaut's reactions as he hurtles through space. The capsule is now in free flight, and in a moment comes the reassuring voice of the commander. Everything A-OK. -okay. What does that mean, boss? It means that everything's all right, and the pilot has the capsule under control. After a trip of 302 miles and 15 minutes, Shepard fires the retro rockets to slow the capsule on its downward flight. A Navy carrier with a rescue squad waits at a designated spot to retrieve the capsule and the astronaut as he lands safely in the sea. Before the bobbing spacecraft righted itself, a helicopter moved in for the pickup. 
a cable was threaded through the capsule hoist ring using a device known as a shepherd's crook. The helicopter then raises the Freedom 7 from the water as another helicopter stands by to lend a hand if necessary. The rescue operation is carried out without a hitch, and the first flight of America's man into space has been a complete success. Safely aboard the carrier, Commander Alan B. Shepard receives the applause of the world. The commander's daring flight was the first step in man's startling efforts to explore outer space. The next step was the building of more powerful rockets that were able to overcome the pull of the Earth's gravity and send man-controlled space capsules hurtling around the surface of the Earth at supersonic speeds. Many of these flights will have been made before the giant step of putting a man on the moon is attempted. How would you like to make the flight, Woody? No, thanks, boss. i wait till they build a freeway. Once the moon has been reached, man's next destination will be the planets and the stars to learn the secrets of the universe. I'm telling you, you got to be quieter than a deep goldfish in a soundproof aquarium. Don't take nothing to start them rocks a tumbling down. <laughs> gonna do for you soon. Ajax Novelty Company. Jokes, tricks, noise makers. Salesmen will give free demonstration. Hmm. Listen here, Mr. Ajax. What you got there, son? Hmm. A brick. Well, I don't want no truck with bricks. Boomerang brick. I don't get it. Hmm, 
wants to shake hands, huh? I just give him the old engine death grip. Oh, 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 hold your fire, boy. Don't shoot. Let me try that toy, son. The flag comes out here, huh? some pests, but I'll be a plucked chicken if he weren't the worst. Hello, handsome. This is your TV, sweetie. Tell me, lover boy, are you lonely tonight? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Well, come closer, and I'll play our love song to you. <laughs> That's right neighborly of you, son. 